Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be proving that there's no nice ordering on the complex plane. So, in other words, there's no way to really define a set of positive numbers on the complex plane. But, of course, we can do that for real numbers. Um, so let's see uh, what happens when we have real numbers. So if I just first define P to be the set of real positive numbers, so the set of positive reals, um, what kind of key properties does P have? Well, it has the property that if you take any two positive numbers, their product, x times y, that's also going to be a positive number, and also x plus y is going to be a positive number. And these are kind of pretty obvious, and these, are in fact, are the defining features of the set of positive real numbers. And I'm going to prove now that it's impossible to have kind of a similar set on the complex plane uh, that has these two very nice properties. And when you multiply any two numbers in that set, you remain in that set. And if you add any two numbers in that set, you remain in that set. Uh, I mean, I, of course, you could take all complex numbers, but that's not uh, particularly nice. We want to have um, positive numbers and equally we want to have this idea of negative numbers. So if x is in P, I guess we want minus x to not be in P. Um, OK, so let's see why we can't do this. So we're going to prove this by contradiction. So we're going to suppose for contradiction there is kind of this set of positive complex numbers. Maybe I'll call it P hat. So P hat is the set of complex positives. OK, and now there's two possibilities here. Either I, the square root of minus 1, is in P hat or it's not. Uh, I'm just going to show what happens when i is in p hat and show it leads to a contradiction. You can do something very, very similar where if i is not in p hat. So suppose i is in p hat. Well, then we can use this first property here that if uh, that, that we want that if the product of two numbers in p hat remains in p hat. So therefore i times i, which is minus one, that's also going to be in p hat. So we get i is in p hat. But then we can say, well, since minus 1 is in p hat, minus 1 times i, again, using this first property, is also in p hat. So minus 1 times i, which is minus i, is in p hat. But then we get the issue that i is in p hat, but also minus i is in p hat. And that kind of contradicts this property here. And this is a really quick proof as to why we can't have a set of positive complex numbers that satisfy all three of these properties here. I don't even really need to use this guy here at all. And you can do something very similar if you assume that i is not in p hat. You basically then know that minus i would have to be in p hat. Um, and so yeah, you kind of just repeat a very similar argument here. Anyway, that's a nice quick video for why there is no nice ordering on the complex plane. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.